Hello viewers, welcome back to another FreeCAD tutorial. Datum planes and local coordinate systems are essential building blocks in FreeCAD modeling. Fully defining the datum planes and local coordinate systems helps to avoid errors in parts and assemblies. Now, what is meant by fully defining? Define datum planes or LCS XYZ coordinates in definitive direction without any ambiguity. There are several ways you could do this. Attaching to faces, vertices and edges. O and X or O, X, Y attachment modes are not all that intuitive for a beginner and this tutorial will help in understanding these attachment methods. So let's start by creating a new file. So I'm going to create this new file which is called unnamed so you can go and if you, give a, you can give a name so i'm going to use a simple body okay then inside this simple body i'm going to put a body then define a sketch so pick the xy plane and define that sketch uh, i want to create a hexagon here and I'm not going to dimension this um, that's not important in this case then um, add this guy so this is my uh, simple body now you will notice that there is this origin okay what is this origin the so origin is consists of X, Y, Z coordinates and uh, the associated planes. So I can switch on this origin by pressing the space bar key, and you can see how this is, uh, you know, defined. Now every body, when you open up a body or create a body, it'll have its local origin, and it. If you translate this body, it will move along with that. Okay, so this is kind of a, it's this origin is kind of a stick to the body, and it will always move. And that, the and then that's kind of um, intuitive because this body was based off of this origin and this x y coordinates, uh, because you have to define some uh, units of size. Uh, so that's why we have this origin and these uh, coordinates. Okay, now let's get to our subject where I want to create a datum plane. So in this case, I'm going to uh, I'm going to keep it for for this origin on for now. And if I just create this datum plane uh, by clicking here it will always go to this default x y plane that where i created that sketch it will always go to that uh, and then what you can do is this is more like the uh, attachment menu where you can use these uh, attachment features in this menu to attach that datum plane any way you like it now uh, this one is more like the references that you define or you can say attachment locations and this is the attachment mode and these are the attachment offsets okay we're going to play with all of them and see how we can get this plane wherever you want it so first thing i'm going to do is i'm going to pick a some face on this body now when i pick this face this uh, plane datum plane is going to attach to this and i can keep picking if i go back and start saying i'm selecting this and i pick this keep, keep going you can keep moving that wherever you want to attach it now uh, this is the simplest form of attaching the datum plane to a body face now um, this is uh, the advantage is this is pretty easy the di disadvantage is this plane has its own local coordinates and 
you don't know where those local coordinates are uh, because you don't have a way to define them now i can go back and put it here uh, let's see and now uh, i put it on this face now i have to do a guess see where and how this x y z of this datum play is a uh, datum plane is now if i go and play with this you know this offsets i can get an idea okay x in is this direction because when i increase the x direction plane size keeping uh, keep increasing in these directions and local y would be perpendicular to that so it will expand in this direction right so that's simple way of defining a plane onto the body so i can say okay can get out of it and your plane is defined so i'm going to switch off this origin for now uh, now there are better ways of defining the plane uh, in the body so let's get rid of this plane and then start from scratch again this time uh, i'm going to be a little bit more uh, intelligent in defining this plane so what i'm going to do is uh, let's say I want to have this datum plane aligned with this face uh, with this actually uh, with this face but I want to define my x in this direction in the vertical and y in the horizontal direction so how do I go and do that so first thing you can do is in the selecting pane you can pick this node okay now uh, i want to have my i said i want to have my x in this direction so i'm going to pick this second point here or uh, the vertex here and now it kind of a uh, moved it in between but that's all right we can change that so the way i want i'm going to do that is i'm going to instead of allowing it to use this inertia 2-3 which is essentially the uh, the plane in between these two points uh, or the the line forming these two points and you can it will use the the line and then put a plane in between those two points perpendicular to that line so that's this inertia 2-3 but i don't want that i'm going to go uh, along the align o x y now what it did was it created this plane along these two lines it is starting with this origin going in x direction and it needs to have a y direction so i can define the y direction let's say if i pick this node what it did was okay it put this plane uh, in this plane now let's see where its x y is so if i increase my x it is in this direction and if i increase my y it is in this direction so i achieved my original objective of defining the plane the directions i want you might ask why do we need this uh, defined now i simply the simple explanation is that when i go and create a, a, a sketch on this selecting this plane now my x is aligned in this direction y is aligned in this direction so simply that's the reason uh, and there could be many other reasons so there's another method you can define the plane uh, to a body so let's get rid of these uh, datums that i already created get rid of the sketch start with uh, datum plane again this time around i'm going to uh, define it let's say i'm going to pick another point vertex here 
and then I'm going to pick this second vertex. Uh, let's say vertex here. So um, now it, by default it puts it um, in between those two points. That's not what I want. So I'm going to go and say aligned O N X. I'm going to pick this one. Let's see what happens if I do that. Now and then I'm going to select this point. Okay. Now this point I want to pick um, something like this point. Now what it did was now if I define this what it really did was it put the plane in my first point which is kind of the origin of that datum plane so this point and this point and this one which is the two word these vertices form the normal of this plane so it is now aligned this plane is aligned normal to these uh, the the uh, line that is formed by these two uh, vertices okay and then its x coordinate is this I put this third point so this x direction should be this direction the local coordinate of the datum plane x is aligned with this so we can check this by offsetting it see how it is growing so yes it is growing in the x direction and if you want to go and check it further uh, you could do by picking a datum or a sketch and now your axis direction is in the uh, in the height direction of this body so um, as you learn now there are multiple ways of defining a plane using this attachment scheme so we call the plane parameters is essentially uh, you by selecting you know your uh, attachment location so the references and the attachment mode and then you can also offset it next thing we want to do is to create a local coordinate system now one should not get confused the local coordinate system with the origin now, the origin is essentially uh, a coordinate system but it is not a local coordinate system okay so when you want to create a local coordinate system click on this and it will give you the same menu as earlier where you have the attachment locations or the references attachment mode and the attachment offsets now uh, what you can do here is you, if you want to align this uh, coordinate system to this location you can pick this vertex now it has essentially translated the origin of the coordinate system to this vertex which is the attachment mode as referenced here now uh, the second one you want to do is to say pick a point uh, any way you like it uh, let's say i want to have a, a second uh, a one of the axes aligned in this direction so i pick this guy now what it does is it, it went and uh, give you the inertial coordinate system if you want to uh, stick with it you can stop here but you, one thing to keep in mind is that the coordinate system is not fully defined and if you don't have a fully defined coordinate system you're going to have a problems uh, when you do like assemblies and animations you're going to have problems with that so we'll get to that in a separate tutorial but for now uh, i don't want this inertial cs i want to go and pick one of these ones where um, let's say i want to have the z in this direction uh, so i'm going to have the pick this one as the attachment mode which is ozx and the third point you have to pick is my x-axis needs to be either in this direction or in this direction or any direction you want i'm going to pick this direction so i'm going to pick this vertex 
uh, let's see it's not picking it up uh, okay there you go so now you can see that it is uh, my x axis is in this direction uh, so my coordinate system the local coordinate system is fully defined now if I close out uh, and uh, essentially if you translate this body the co local coordinate system will go along with that and uh, you know you can do assemblies down the road now let's do a one more example in a different way now typically in this uh, like a symmetric body like that like this one you want to put a coordinate system somewhere in the middle right so how do we do that so one method you can employ here is you can create a datum point now this datum point is created in the uh, origin uh, and what you can do is you can translate to the this uh, the center of this uh, hexagon so how do we do that is using these references so let's start with this pick this guy okay so now it worked okay so we are at the center of this hexagon i'm going to keep that uh, point in that uh, center now we can go and create the uh, local coordinate system i'm going to pick the point i already created and now uh, for the second uh, reference uh, since I want this Z axis um, in this direction, this is already Z is aligned with that, but I'm, let's say I'm going to pick this guy. Now, <clears throat> I, let's say I want to have my X axis go along, uh, going along the center of this uh, uh, hexagonal uh, prism. All I have to do is go and pick this OX. Okay, so X will be in this direction. So I'm going to say OX. Now um, I have the X axis going along this center of the, uh, the body. And now I can assign my X or, or z or y any direction i want since y i already pick o x y so y can be assigned to any direction any of these six nodes so let's say i pick this guy now y is in direction um, z is in direction and x is going to the center my local coordinate system is fully defined uh, so this is how you create your local coordinate system. So this would be very useful when you go into doing assemblies and even when you do, uh, you know, uh, animations in assembly four, uh, this is going to be very useful. So I'm going to create a, another uh, tutorial on that. So um, I, I hope, um, you know, this would kind of uh, gives you a flavor of how you create local coordinate systems as well as uh, data and planes and fully define them uh, so that uh, there is no uh, guesswork uh, on the directions of the each coordinate system so uh, this is a quick tutorial i uh, hope you learn something new uh, if you would like to subscribe please go ahead and uh, click on the subscribe button and leave any comments thank you